a safeguard against ungroundedness and folly is to say no first. No is our first no should be your first instinct. And you know that that's true because in this world where they teach you to, you know, do everything, feel everything, get involved with everything. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot. There are times in life to be wholly devoted to something. And there are times to say no and defy. How do I tell the difference? Well, it goes back to what we were talking about with Dobrynya and about discerning your vocation in life, discerning your season in life, discerning your motives in this moment and in life, and discerning his spirits. Basically, what is God showing you? And there are times when, you know, people say that they're devoted to something, you know, I'm grinding, I'm devoted, I'm doing it, I'll never give up. And really what they're doing is that they're, they're beating their head against a wall. They're trying to force something to happen that's not supposed to happen. Devotion is only worthwhile when you're moving in the right direction. Devotion is only worthwhile when it's when it is in alignment with your vocation, your calling in life, when it's in alignment with your season in life, when it's in alignment with truth. Otherwise, you're devoted to falsehood and you're, uh, it, you, you could all, almost always recognize that because it bears no fruit you know there's a lot of guys that like they'll just i just won't give up i was like yeah you're not giving up but it gave up the thing gave up it's bearing no fruit you got to move on you got to move on and so it really takes a it takes paying attention right this is where we step up out of the thinking feeling and doing and allow ourselves to be the beer is the watcher right and when we are watching ourselves, we are we rise up out of our emotions about it. We rise up about our out of our rationale about it. Most people's ration rationalizing, when we use our quote unquote, quote unquote ration, rationalizing, is usually rationalizing emotion. Nine times out of ten, we we feel something and we rationalize ourselves into or out of it. There was a study that was once done that proved this. I, I remember a marketer telling me about it and how people choose emotionally, but then they rationalize. People don't, they, when they say they think about something, it's all they're really doing is rationalize what they already feel. Nine times out of 10, that's what we're doing. So if we rise up out of that, we rise up out of this fake rationalizing, following our feelings, uh, we then can look at things objectively. We gotta look at things as they really are. And when you can do that, it's much easier to discern whether or not you could, you should you need to keep going or you need to slow down and stop or you need to do like I was telling Debrinya just give it some time right so how do you tell the difference between when you should be devoted to something and when you should say no and this is it right right here um a safeguard against ungroundedness and folly is to say no first. No is our first, no should be your first instinct. And you know that that's true because in this world where they teach you to you know, do everything, feel everything, get involved with everything. Uh, there's even a movie with, uh, who's that guy, that, that comedian, a white comedian. Uh, he had a movie where he could only say yes. I forget his name. Jim Carrey, thank you. Uh, I knew one of you guys would have it where he only say yes, say yes, say yes. And his whole life, you know, the, the whole thing Hollywood was trying to tell you is that you need to say yes to everything. If you want to know what not to do, look at what Hollywood is telling you. And then the truth is you're better off saying no to everything first. Your default should be no. There's a reason why babies, when, they're, when they first started start, start talking, most of the time, their first word is no. Very rarely is a baby's first word yes. Because no is the boundary by which your ego is formed. No is the, is the delineating principle between myself and 
the, the external world. I like to call the ego the interface between yourself and the world. And the first, the first tool of the ego is to say no. And I'm not against the ego. I got to remind you guys of that sometimes too. You, you hear that word ego, automatically a lot of people like they were like, oh, there's something wrong with that. No, there's not. The, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm not against the ego. The ego, you need the ego in order to say no. People who have low ego boundaries or permeable egos, who, you know, sometimes they call them like schizoid, uh, they can't say no. And they're very quickly overtaken by the the, the pervading energy or the person that's with them. They're very easily manipulated. So your best bet is to is to say no. Say no first, discern, and then decide. You see what I'm saying, Patrick? Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week, and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, and you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way, in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. And me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.